All right, and welcome back to Better Understanding the Bible. I'm your host, Dallas, and let's get to it. In this episode, Day 3, Dry Land has been revealed, the earth has been established, and the first fruits have been born. Covenant man is on the land. Jesus Christ has been born. Now, we were coming off of day two, where we saw the waters being divided amongst the waters and man being separated from God in a, because the covenant has been broken. However, God did not leave man void of any hope. No, in fact, he saw after the division of the waters above from the waters below, he then let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and he let the dry land appear, and he called the dry land earth. Now the earth is the land of the covenant people, the promised land given to the covenant following faithful obedient one. Let the earth sprout forth a fruit tree bearing fruit in which is its seed according to its kind. And it was so. And the earth which God is now formed for the covenant people. Out of this comes the fruit tree with its seed according to its own kind. And it did so on the third day. So, In day one, God said, let there be light, and there was, and the covenant was formed. And then day two, there was a breaking of that bond, and the two were separated. And in day three, the dry land, the atonement was brought forward, and man could come onto the land. For the fruit tree has brought forth fruit on the third day, bearing with it its own seed. 1 Corinthians, but now is Christ risen from the dead, becoming the first fruits. And he that was buried rose again on the third day. Now you see, to Abraham and his seed was the promise made. He did not say to the seeds of Abraham, as unto the many, but rather he said, as of one. So to thy seed, which is Christ. Which is interesting, because when you take a seed, and you plant it in the ground, as Jesus was, and then you let it rise up from the ground dead, and it brings forth a tree, a vine, is the process of planting a seed in the earth and the tree bringing forth fruit. Well, if you be in Christ's, then you are also Abraham's seed according to the promise. For Jesus is the true vine that came from the seed of Abraham that was planted in the ground. He is the true vine. God is the vine dresser. Every branch in him that does not bear fruit, every branch in Jesus that does not bear good fruit, he takes away, and every branch that does not bear fruit, he prunes, and that may bear more fruit that way. For the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in Jesus. I am the vine, and you are the branches. Whoever abides in me, and I in him... He is that who bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. And by this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. Jesus was the seed that was planted, that was the promise of the Father in the earth, in order that he would come forth from the earth and restore covenant man to the land and all those who are in trust with him to overcome, day two, the breaking of the covenant. Jesus Christ, the true vine. Day three, the dry land the earth, the covenant, 
that promise bringing forth its first fruits, covenant man, Jesus, is on the land. Next episode, day four. If you enjoy the work here and like to support me, you can easily do so through PayPal at the email provided on the screen. And in the next episode, we will continue on with the seven days of prophecy. Wherever you are, I hope this finds you well. God bless.